Inspired by how the human body filters water, researchers at Sandia National Laboratories and the University of New Mexico have developed a synthetic biomimetic membrane, a novel approach that could lead to better large-scale water purification. Experts predict an increasing world population will depend more and more on water supplies that require salt removal to make them usable. Traditional reverse osmosis membranes for water desalination are coated with semi-permeable films that depend on high pressures to force water through. But significant energy is needed to produce these pressures. The Sandia UNM team researched a porous membrane that could reject specific salts and let water be transported with low pressures to reduce energy costs. We set up the system with our silica membrane in the center and two bulk reservoirs of water on either side. Blending theory with experiments, they modeled complex nanoscale cell membranes to study how organic pores, or water channels, work and then developed and modeled an inorganic design with similar characteristics. We've understood a lot about the design of the natural channels, yet when we went to the inorganic channels, we would try different single pieces of the design that we thought were important. Like we would functionalize with um, hydrophobic groups to make the water slip through. That didn't work. We brought down the size of the pore to very narrow dimensions, and uh, you know we could exclude the salts, but then we were slowing down the water. So all these different uh, design features that we tried for six and a half years didn't work. And uh, finally we, we came to the conclusion that we needed to incorporate multiple aspects of that design we saw in nature. And so it was in the last half year of the project that we really succeeded. In the human body, pores made of a class of proteins called aquaporins efficiently filter ions and transport water. But the pores need certain conditions to work, and it's not practical to use them in a high-volume commercial application. To emulate nature's elegant design and have a robust manufacturable structure, the team formed synthetic pores using evaporation-induced self-assembly, a thin film deposition technique that allows atomic scale control. Combining self-assembly with atomic layer deposition, or ALD, allowed further modification, or tuning, of the pore size and surface chemistry. To understand these nano-sized structures, the team's work is guided by transmission electron microscopes and computational modeling. If we keep doing this step by step, then we can reduce the pore size to be less than, less than one nanometer. Or some, some size close to the aquaporium diameter. The size of the pores and the way that we modify the pores, the system is so small that it can be understood completely by uh, the kinds of simulations and theory that Susan Rempe and her co-workers employ. So this is one of the very rare cases that you can make an experimental system where every atom can be accounted for and we can understand how the uh, water would get transported through these pores. When you get down to the nanoscale level, the individual transport events have a, a large variety of, of surprising behavior. By understanding the dynamics of the ions and the, their interactions with the pore, we've been able to better control the um, surface chemistry and, and better control the, the process by which we can make salt excluding pores. People benefit from small amounts of minerals in their drinking water. So another challenge was designing pore selectivity so that some ions would move through the membrane. The perfect system would have some amount of sodium and potassium and, and anions, presumably. So you want something that's uh, more or less like mineral water on the other side as opposed to perfectly pure water. The project progressed from optimizing pore characteristics to showing water would flow through the new membrane at very low pressures, to testing the output for salt content. The pure water will be coming out from the other side. Our experimental colleagues have actually implemented um, some of the design features for the natural water channels into a membrane and done functional measurements and found that they uh, perform better than the commercial membranes. So this new design that mimics in part the natural channels is working better. Additional applications for membranes that can separate molecules according to size and chemistry with very low pressure applied include purified fresh water for industrial use and in biomedicine, pores that separate DNA. 
In the field of energy, carbon dioxide could be captured and removed by transport through selective membranes. As their lab work continues, the team is also researching the scale-up of their membrane system and partnerships with the water purification industry. Our membranes are, are more efficient than uh, any membrane we see on the market. We're still in process. We can do better and we think that we can come up with like an order of magnitude improvement in performance by uh, being truer to the natural designs.